Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu. I'm glad to see you here on another fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Thank you all so much for all of your wonderful love and support in my last video. I did get emotional uh, in that video because it was the first time that I was holding my first coloring book. Uh, but yeah, I'm just really glad and I'm so grateful to be with all of you. I love you back. Today I'll be continuing my Draw One Character in 10 Different Art Styles series with number 3. It'll be interesting to see how I draw Mulan as a character in 10 different fandoms. So, Mulan as a Simpsons character. Hmm... I think she's gonna look really different, especially with those googly eyes, but when I was trying the sketches uh, for her, I didn't want to follow the regular, you know, the circular giant eyes that most of the characters have. I was looking into the different Simpsons characters in that world and trying to pick out the Asian characters uh, because I wanted to have some kind of Asian-ness in my uh, Simpsons Mulan design. So I was looking through different characters, I found a few. It reminded me of when I was doing the research for my uh, first draw myself in 10 different animated cartoon and comic styles. I drew myself as a Simpsons character in that video. And so I didn't want to do the exact same face. I wanted to design my Mulan character differently from myself. I thought it'd be fun to add Mushu uh, into this picture as well. So he's kind of poking out from her back. He has this mischievous grin. And for his eyes, I did want to go with the big googly round ones. I think the main challenge of drawing in this style was, you know, the Simpsons style is really simplistic usually. And the facial features are quite uh, minimum. And they're quite stylized too. So I had to really break down the really like the major features of Mulan like what makes Mulan Mulan uh, and I tried to translate that to the best of my ability into this style so it could look like she could belong into this world or there was some major crossover event that would be interesting Many of you have been asking me to do some more Animal Crossing kind of drawings in my videos. So here is another one. I'm going to reimagine Mulan as if she were a character in this game. I think it's going to be super cute. I don't want her to look like the one I did for Elsa. So she has to look a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. I'll also be drawing her in styles of fandoms that I've never drawn from before. I know many of you have been asking for a variety of different uh, things and uh, shows or games that you want me to uh, have in my videos. So I'll be touching on some of them and also in some of my future videos. This time I gave her a little sword. I didn't want to design it too big or too sharp looking because I wanted to fit it into this, you know, cute, innocent, sweet world. So I made the blade kind of blunt and really stubby looking. I think it's adorable. In case you're a fan of this game, please let me know why you like it so much. What's the thing that keeps you playing? And if you want, you can also check out how I drew some Animal Crossing characters as humans in a previous art challenge video. I like how all the people have different types of eyes. So I made my eyes in this drawing kind of almond shaped. I thought it was a really nice fit. What a cute little warrior. Okay, this next style has been requested for quite some time. Thanks to all of you who have been suggesting. I really like this style, especially how they draw the limbs, like the feet. I think they're really cute. So I wonder how I can turn Mulan into a character that could look like she belongs in this world. I think the character designs are really unique, especially Starfires. For my Mulan design, I wanted to have her hair have this nice, like, swishy movement or feeling in there. I think that's really nice. And as for her body, like her sleeves, and the 
bottom of her gown, I think I had to like stylize it more to fit the style of this universe. I like how the characters in Teen Titans Go, uh, like especially if you have like the boots, their feet get really wide at the ends, which I think is really interesting. So I wanted to do something similar, but because Mulan's not wearing uh, pants or like shoes in this outfit. So I wanted to evoke a similar feeling of the thick thin, but meanwhile still have that in the design of her dress. I also designed the face to portray Mulan better. <laughs> she looks so energetic. Here's another style that I really like, uh, especially how they handle the features of the face and the different proportions of the body and how weighted everything looks. So I think drawing Mulan in this style would be quite interesting. I remember when I first watched Lilo and Stitch, how like different the style looked like to me. I've never seen anything like it before at that time, so this style really made an impression on me. I really liked how they have the like the really wide gap between the eyes, and the eyes tend to curve up or like tilt up, and they're usually small, so they're quite a lot smaller than I would say like uh, original or like um classic Disney character, which was really interesting, so I wanted to play with that for my design here. I was looking at the different characters in Lilo and Stitch, especially the young adults, and I liked how they like they tend to draw the limbs really thick, and it has a sturdy look. So I wanted to have that similar effect to my design, but because Mulan does not show her feet in this outfit, I had to convey that weighted feeling in how I designed the dress. The original Mulan design tend to have sharper points and curves that end in points. So when I was designing my uh, character in the Lilo and Stitch style, I had to just forget about all those points and replace them with lots of soft curves and rounded areas. Okay, now I'm gonna do something really random. What if Mulan was in the world of Domo? Uh, yes. What am I doing? Okay, so right off the bat, this was gonna be a challenge because Domo does not have human features. And his proportions are really weird. <laughs> I was thinking, how am I going to incorporate the elements of Mulan into such a simplistic and oddly designed character style? Obviously, she's going to have a gigantic mouth in the middle of her face, and I don't know about the clothes. How am I going to draw the clothes? Like, Domo, does Domo wear any clothes? I don't know. So yeah, that was really challenging. Uh, after a few designs and sketches, I managed to draw clothes on my Mulan character. Hooray! Uh, but in a way that is quite different. I've never actually seen Domo with hair before as well, so I was thinking how to break down Mulan's hairstyle in the simplest way possible and then add it onto my design. The next style is one of my own original styles, the fun to draw style. I know many of you have been watching my fun to draw tutorials in the past, like for several years or many years ago, and now you are still watching my art challenges. I'm really grateful for that. Thank you all for being on this art journey with me. I know many of you will find this style nostalgic. Many of you told me my fun to draw tutorials were the things that got you into art and drawing in the first place. So I'm just really honored to hear that. And I thought it'll be really fun to draw Mulan in my fun to draw style. I'm still making new fun to draw ebooks for you because I know there are lots of you who still like to draw in my fun to draw style. I've recently released six new ebooks, including three new fun to draw Christmas ebooks. They are fun to draw Christmas level one, level two, and level three. 
Get these ebooks to show you how to draw all kinds of cute, adorable, fun to draw cartoons for Christmas and the holidays. And I can totally see you guys using my ebooks to draw your own like Christmas cards, decorations, and like drawings for your friends and family as gifts. I think that's really special and really heartfelt. Download info for Apple, Kindle, and Android are in the video description below. And as for the other three ebooks, those are coming up. Can you believe it's almost been 10 years since I uploaded my very first video, which was the fun to draw? What is it? Let me know in the comments. I want to see who can get it right. I've been wanting to do something with this show for a while now, and I'm glad I'm able to draw Mulan in this style. Some of you have also been asking for something from this universe, so I hope you like this. I like how the characters in this show have these interesting looking teeth and mouths. It kind of reminds me of Steven Universe. For this drawing, I wanted to give Mulan her sword again. It's kind of like how Star has her wand. I think Mulan's face is going to look very enthusiastic. I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who have reviewed and shared your photos of your coloring pages from my coloring book on the Amazon uh, review section and also online. I've been seeing some really interesting photos of your coloring creations and I just want to say thank you all so much. You're so creative and I love seeing what you've done with my line art in my coloring book. Keep up the good work everyone. In case you haven't yet, you can go into the direct link in the video description, own or gift my coloring book for yourself or for someone else for the holidays. I think it's time we bring Mushu back. So I was looking at different designs and different characters uh, from this show, trying to think of how a funny, sarcastic dragon could look like in this show. What I didn't want to do was draw Mushu uh, in a cartoony style that had the same eyes as uh, Mulan. I wanted to do something different, but still make it look like he could belong in there. Right now, before I colored in Mulan's uh, irises, she looks kind of scary. Also, let me know if you've watched the new Mulan movie yet. If you have, what do you think about it? Did you like it? Which version do you like better, the animated one or the live action one? Comment below. This is another show that I have not really done a whole lot of, and many people have been asking for something from this universe in the past. I don't really know how Mulan is going to look like with a really different head shape. Probably not going to go with a giant triangular nose on her though. So I was thinking about all the different wonderful, unique head shapes <laughs> that the characters in this show have. And I was thinking which one fits Mulan because I don't want to do something that's very regular looking. I want to really take advantage of the style and try a shape that is quite different. I was playing around with different contrasting lines, like some were flat, some were curved, and I came up with a shape like this. I kind of like how I designed her head to be like just this flat thing, and then her hair kind of flows down, has this nice flowy elegance to it, and then her face is round, but then it's kind of contrasted with her flat, like the back of her head and the neck. I like how the characters in this show, they all have their very distinctive silhouettes and they're very, like, they're very shape-based. So it was really fun to reimagine Mulan, who's more realistic, in this kind of style. Here's another style that I think has really nice handling of contrasting curves, flat lines, and shapes. I love the edges of the faces of the characters, in their clothing, and the hands, so I had to do Star Wars Clone Wars. I think this really fits Mulan because of how many butts she can kick. 
I love how stylized the lines are, especially in the hair, the edges of the characters' faces. I think it's really interesting. And for me to redesign Mulan in this style, I knew I had to watch out for how I handled certain points, like certain joints, uh, how I drew the hands and the face, and especially the hair with the wedge-shaped um, pieces of hair in there. So there were a lot of little things I had to take into consideration. I was thinking about uh, drawing Mulan with her sword as if she was posing like a Jedi. So I thought, yeah, that's kind of cool. And um, one of the biggest, I guess, challenges for me when I was drawing her in this style was she, like her face is quite simple. There's not a lot of things that I could kind of really take to exaggerate. And the characters in this show, they tend to have a lot more like lines and designs going on in their faces. So I wanted to make it look like this, you know, this pretty young girl is in this show. It, she belongs in this show, but she still does not have a lot of the grooves and the lines that some of the other characters in the show has. I looked at how they designed some of the female characters, and I tried to incorporate some of those style elements into my design. Hmm, she looks very noble. For the last style, I want to try something different with Mulan and Mushu together. I think this is going to be really fun. I still remember watching Pokemon for the very first time and uh, just just being obsessed with it and drawing a bunch of Pokemon all the time in, you know, in my school homework. I think uh, if I were to draw Mulan in the Pokemon world, I would draw her like this with Mushu as her beginner Pokemon or starter Pokemon. I think that's going to be really fun. I wonder what kind of element Mushu would have or you know what kind of what type would he be let me know in the comments if you want you can spout some fan theories go ahead i love to read them as mentioned earlier i've released six new ebooks including my new fun and draw christmas ebooks level one two and three the others are Draw One Character in 10 Art Styles, Volume 3. This ebook has all of the styles in this video and shows you how to draw them all step by step. This is great for beginners and fans of these styles. It's a good idea to build your skills on drawing different styles because that can help you find your own style. Also, I've released the winter editions of Draw One Girl in 20 Outfits and Draw One Boy in 20 Outfits. Learn to draw cozy, cute, wintry clothing and Christmas outfits for your own characters. Since some of you told me you'd rather focus on drawing the clothing and not have to worry about making the bodies first, I made new workbooks for you. The first two are Design Your Own Outfits, Winter Female and Winter Male. These workbooks are great companions to my winter outfit ebooks because you get to draw and color your clothing designs right on the pre-made body templates using my ebooks as a guide. This gets you started much easier because you don't have to worry about drawing proportionate figures and similar to my coloring book, the workbooks work well with most markers, gel pens, colored pencils, and crayons. All of my physical books ship to over 100 countries. Get them now for the holidays so you can practice. Follow me on Amazon to get notified of my new books. The links are in the video description. I think Mushu is looking pretty cool as a Pokemon, especially without any legs. He looks like he can fly in the air and do lots of cool things with his fire breath. And as for Mulan, I think she's going to be a really good trainer. Let me know which style in this video is your favorite. Also, hit that like button if you want part 4 of this series in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss my new videos. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will see you back next Fun Friday.
Some of you were asking if the designs I wear are my own. Yes, I've been wearing the shirts I designed in most of my videos. And you can get my art feature merchandise on my Teespring store, such as my recent Princesses as Horror Monsters designs. There are a few hundred different items there. And I also have a Zazzle store, which includes over 2,000 items I designed with my art, including clothing, decor, drinkware, Christmas gifts, shoes, accessories, and more. Own them or gift them for the holidays. My store links are in the video description. Happy shopping! Get my new adult coloring book, Garden of Dreams. Color 50 of my beautiful original art. Own it or gift it now. It ships to over 100 countries. Direct link is in the video description. Draw better expressions, eyes, hands, hairstyles, outfits, and cute things for your own OCs. Collect my ebooks. They're like your own mobile art teacher. Get them and start drawing better today.